Good morning all of you. Welcome to my channel Botany Now. This is Jyotir Mainanda. In this video, we'll start a new chapter that is Morphology of Flowering Plants. So what is Morphology? Morphology means external structure of plants. If we see plants externally, we find different parts of the plants. So what are these parts? Let's discuss these parts one by one. Morphology means the external structure of plants. External structure of plants. Then the flowering plants means here we'll discuss the angiospermic plant. So in this video we'll discuss the external structure of angiospermic plant. When we draw a flowering plants, we find the underground part which is called the root system. This root system is developed from the radical of the embryo and it is the underground part of the plant. Then the shoot system. This shoot system is developed from the plimule of the embryo which gives rise to the stem. So the root part is developed from the radical and the shoot system or the stem is developed from the plimule of the embryo. Root and shoot developed from which part of the embryo? The options are radical plimule, plimule epicotyle, hypocotyle epicotyle and lastly radical and hypocotyle. Dear students, please give the correct answer after watching this video. If you are not able to give the answer, I will give the answer at the end of the video. Normally, we found this root system as a underground part. But there are some roots which are grown above the ground. So, here we used the term that is normally. So, it is the root. Then, it is the stem part which is developed from the plimule of the embryo. Attached to the stem, the leaves are present. These are the leaves. These leaves are help in the photosynthesis because there is the presence of chlorophyll pigment in the leaves for performing the photosynthetic process. So, these are the leaves and it is the aerial parts of the plant. This is the aerial parts. Aerial parts means the part which grown above the ground is called the aerial parts of the plant. As we discuss the flowering plant, there is also the presence of the flower. So, these are the flower. It is the reproductive part of the flower. Flower has male and female reproductive part. The female reproductive part is called the gynoecium. The gynoecium, so the female reproductive part is called the gynoecium. This gynoecium differentiated into stigma, style and ovary. This ovary develops fruit. So here this is the fruit and this fruit is developed from the ovary. So these are the external structure of the plants and 
this is differentiated into the root system then the stem then attached to the stem there is presence of the leaves which helps in photosynthesis then the flower which is called the reproductive part of the plant there are two part of the plants that is the vegetative part and the reproductive part what are the vegetative part the vegetative parts are the root stem leaves these are called the vegetative part of the plant and what are the reproductive part the fruit and flower are called the reproductive part of the plant then the fruit which is developed from the ovary of the female reproductive part as we talk the morphology of a flowering plants the things which we need to discuss or study are the roots in the case of roots we will discuss the various types of roots types of roots then their functions and modifications then the stems in stems various types of stems various types of stems whether they are underground aerial and subaerial and also we will discuss the modifications of stem so what do you mean by underground the stem which grow below the ground level is called the underground below the ground level ground level ra tale jo stem grow karthiwa ta ko me underground kanti then what do you mean by aerial means above the ground surface ground surface ra upare jo stem grow kariba ta ko me aerial kahiba then sub aerial grow just above the ग्राउंड लेवल ग्राउंड लेवल रो जस्ट ऊपर को जो स्टेम ग्रो करछ ताको हमें सब एरियल कहबा एरियल मींस अबव द ग्राउंड सरफेस एंड अंडरग्राउंड मींस बिलो द ग्राउंड लेवल देन द लीव्स हियर वी डिस्कस द लीव्स ऑफ डाइकॉट प्लांट एंड मोनोकॉट प्लांट डाइकट प्लांट को हमें कहंती दुई बीज पत्री एंड मोनोकट प्लांट को हमें कहंती एको बीज पत्री देन इट्स वेनेशन वेनेशन मींस व्हेदर इट इज पैरेलल और रेटिकुलेट वेनेशन देन द टाइप्स ऑफ लीव्स व्हेदर इट इज सिंपल लीव्स और compound leaves then comes to flower and we already discussed it is the reproductive part of the plant so here we discuss the arrangement of the floral parts what are the floral parts that is the sepals petals stamen and carpel these are called the floral parts so here we discuss the arrangement of floral parts which we called the estivation or the estivation then the inflorescence in this case there are some flower which born singly or in a multiple stalk so the complete arrangement of the flower in the floral axis is called the inflorescence so this is the floral axis these are the flower which born in a multiple way so the arrangement of flower 
on the floral axis is called inflorescence here we'll also discuss the in types of inflorescence then comes to the fruit the fruits are developed from the ovary so gynoecium has three parts that is the stigma style and ovary and from these ovary fruit is developed so here we'll talk about the fruit the types of fruit and the which part of the fruit we consume here we'll discuss these parts about the fruit then comes to the seeds inside the fruit there is the presence of the seed so we'll talk about the structure of seed structure of seed then the dicot seed and the monocot seed then also we discuss the albuminous seed and non albuminous seed and we discuss the seed dormancy and the process of seed germination and at the end we'll talk about the families in which all the flowering plants are classified so in this case we'll talk about the classification of the flowering plants classification of the flowering plants so this is all about the morphology of flowering plants answer class. of the question is radical and plumule that means the root is developed from the radical and the shoot is developed from the plumule please take a screenshot of this slide in this video we discussed the various parts of the plants that is the root stem leaves flower inflorescence and in the next video we'll study the roots their types and the functions of the